Yeah, okay. Open it. Wasn't me, wasn't me, it's Rico. It wasn't me either, what the fuck, bro? There's a turret, but there's a door no? here. A, no, it's a fire exit. There's a landmine on the stairs. Alright, hey, you guys are you Don't guys you guys down. are holding okay. stuff, right? Coming at you. Yeah, so there's this game called Lethal Company that was released at the tail end of last year, and it did well. Very well. However, unlike a lot of the sort of flavor of the month games that have come out over the years, Lethal Company has maintained a significant portion of its original player base. Point being, this game rocks. And I would like to talk about why. What the fuck is a Can eat them. We're all gonna die. of this game is the fact that it's half comedy, half horror, with the genius coming from how these two are balanced. Being trapped in a dark, cramped facility full of wacky monsters that are trying to kill you is pretty scary on its own, but what makes it terrifying is the fact that 15 seconds ago I was talking to my buddy about backshots. Yo Ethan, can, can you explain what backshots are please? Uh, it's a basketball term. Until suddenly, I hear static over the radio and come back down the stairs to see this. Dead. <sighs> now, I haven't played many horror games, but from my experience, there's always this oppressive atmosphere weighing down on you constantly. Which I imagine is the point, but it can get seriously exhausting to have to deal with that for hours at a time. This game, however, well, when's the tension gonna be highest? When you're being chased by a monster and are about to die, right? Well, what happens when you do die? All that fear and tension immediately deflates because you're dead. You're completely detached from the situation now and just get to sit back and relax as you watch the rest of your friends meet their own grisly ends. And that dynamic nature, the way the game's vibe can shift from chill comedy to pure terror at the drop of a hat. You're laughing and joking with your friend one moment, you're cowering in fear in a tiny room the next when a bracken snaps his neck, then straight back to comedy after you get popped by a coil head, and you're both laughing as you watch everyone else slowly get picked apart. The way things switch back and forth just like that, I think is one of the biggest reasons the game feels so good. Because like I said, that, that oppressive atmosphere weighs on your soul when you're creeping around a facility. All your friends have already died to this thumper and you can hear him stomping around, the, the echoes reverberating through the walls. And so if you do die, <laughs> like, if you fought for your life, okay, fought tooth and nail only to die anyway, and the first thing you hear is just your friends laughing at you and how brutal your death was, it just it feels so good because that, that atmosphere just lifts. It's like... Because <sighs> you, you, now you just get to sit back and relax and laugh at the next guy who dies. Brother, how? 
And this is especially the case because that that high of fear you come down from when you make it out alive or die trying is genuinely terrifying. Okay, when this game is scary, it's scary. See, I'm the type of guy where when I get into games like this, I don't look up anything. I try to go in completely blind because that feeling of pure terror you get when you run into a monster for the first time and you just have no idea what it does. <sighs> it truly is a beautiful thing. God, that genuine terror in my voice, that crazy mic peeking, it's so good. And you know, looking back on it, there were so many times where I just kept panicking, even far past the point where I was out of harm's way. Get out, 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 fuck that, fuck that, fuck that, fuck that, do not go in, do not go in, do not go in, do not go in, leave, 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 get out, 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 I really do miss that, because you can only ever be new at a game once, and so it's important to enjoy that while it lasts. You know? That period where all it would take is just some ambient noise to spook the hell out of you. Nah, nah, nah. What the hell is laughing at me right now, bro? And yeah, sometimes you've got to just make the executive decision that it's time to get the hell out. Nah, 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 uh. hell no, brother. And that process by which you learn how all the different monsters and items and other mechanics work, usually by dying horribly, is probably the best part of the game. Don't put up the stone oh, mask, Rico. Rico dropped it. Rico dropped no, 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 Rico, don't drop it. Let's find out what happens. I know what happens. Well, I don't, and I want to find out. It's calling to me. Wait, wait, I, I can't take it off. Oh, no, no, no. I won't let you take me, demon. Wait, what the fuck? He just. <laughs> huh? He's dead. It also really helps that a lot of the enemies are complicated enough that it can take quite a bit of time to actually figure them out. Assuming you didn't just look it up or have someone explain every intricate detail to you. Oh, don't mind if I do. Yeah, happy Valentine's Day, by the way. Whoop. Relax, you can have them after. Here, take these for now. For example, the bracket. When you first encounter him, it's terrifying. But after a couple encounters, he's slipped away a few times, maybe snapped a couple necks. And so let's say you get a bit curious and decide that the next time you see him, you're just gonna stare. What is that? Oh, hey, it's a bracken. No, 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 no! Oh, oh, oh. The flow of encountering and slowly understanding these enemies through repeated deaths is really fun. Of course, it's also really nice that there are lots of dumb ways to die outside of just the monsters. It really helps round things out. You could get struck you by lightning, show up on your thing. Drop it, drop it, drop it. I died. hit the bell too many times, <laughs> step on a landmine. Hey Amir, they walked on the landmine. Get stuck in a hole. I'm gonna leave a walkie with you. I'll I'm gonna go No! No! <laughs> Get stuck in a hole and drown. Neglect to bring a flashlight. Not be able to make the jump. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> be able to make the jump, but perhaps a bit too much. <laughs> And the sort of roguelike, procedurally generated structure of the game allows all these elements to mix into a concoction of pure chaos. In fact, how about I show you my first two runs ever? 
My friends had gotten the game the night before me, so I started off by joining them a few days into their run. And on my first day, they decided to try and pull a hive heist a bit early into the where's, day. Where's Surya? He died. Surya's oh. dead? Oh. Bro, oh, what shit. the? Oh, Oscar's dead. Nah, <laughs> oh, nah, nah. Bees are killing these fuckers. Dude, there's bees in the. Oh my god, it's because the hive is in the. No, 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 What? That's how it works okay, in look, Hunt. Here's the plan. I'm gonna just... Okay, I'm gonna... Alright, I'm taking their hive. Oh, fuck. <laughs> He's trying to hunt you <laughs> down there. Oh, oh, there we go. Unlucky. <laughs> Dude. Warning, no response from crew. Things were looking a little better for us the next day, you know. Found a couple items, feeling pretty good about ourselves. Right up until it came time to head back. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, it's okay, chill. Guys, they're it's fine. chill. No, it's chill. That one's chill. Don't worry, guys. Yep. Yeah, just uh, don't drop anything because they will pick it up. Oh, hey, guys. That's the quirky one, guys. Don't touch them. Calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Oh, what the fuck is that? Get it off me, bro. Oh, we gotta get the fuck. Oh. What the hell is that? It's a bumper. It's a bumper. It's a bumper. No, 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 this door is closed! <laughs> oh my god, no, <laughs> Where's the mirror? Where's the mirror? Where's the mirror? <laughs> no, bro! That was brutal! Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Oh, it's a kraken. Oh, it's a fucking kraken. Get in the ship, get in the ship. Okay, we gotta go eat them. Everybody fucking died. Everyone ate shit. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it was a worthy sacrifice, you know, your life for this crate of empty hey, beer bottles that probably dude, been sitting will... under there for over a century with all the mold Look, man, at the top. My life, my life is worth a large axle, and that's okay. <laughs> this game is pure chaos, okay? Sometimes it's just gonna make you run the gauntlet. And the reason it works is the amount of options you have and the amount of skill expression there is when it comes to dealing with it. Compared to a game like Phasmophobia, where, okay, well, I haven't played since release, so this has probably, hopefully, been changed in an update, but back when I played, when a ghost started hunting you, light a candle, shove a crucifix in its face when applicable, and worst comes to worst, make a run for it. Of course, I say run, but it's really much more of an over-enthusiastic waddle, as if you're about to miss the train and we're stuck standing upright in a sleeping bag. It was very reminiscent of when you're trying to run from a monster in a nightmare, and you just feel like you're trudging through a swamp full of waist-tight molasses, and you're just like, move faster! Lethal Company ain't like that at all. Okay? In this game, if something starts chasing you, you can bolt, bro. You run so fast. And the game's engine actually gives you good movement options. Because, real talk, the horror never lasts forever with these types of games. Okay? You, you can't be new at the game and all bright-eyed and terrified of everything forever. But with Lethal Company, the gameplay loop you're left with once that initial fear fades away is genuinely fun, okay? Running for my life from a thumper is fun. And let me tell you something, in all my hours on this game, not once have I died and thought, well, what the hell was I supposed to do there? No, there's always something you could have done. And on the, oh, you should have brought more supplies kind of way. No, your character's got two hands, two feet, and you've got a thinker in that skull of yours. You could have made it out. And once you start being able to make it out, God, it feels so good. This door's locked. You found a key, right? 
Thumper, thumper, go left. No, 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 no. no! skill expression in this game isn't just limited to absolutely obliterating a thumper's ankles or wrists. Point being, there's lots of other more macro methods of improving your chances of survival. Everybody's got a role to play in this game, you know? Flashlight in front, shovel just behind, walkie at the back, and Someone chilling back at the ship, talking over the radio, who gets to sit there and watch everyone die. You know, this really is a cozy job, huh? The guy in Deep Rock Galactic has it good. <laughs> yeah, this isn't even a real walkie-talkie, by the way. It's just a tablet pen taped to this instant audience speaker I bought over a year ago for a bit that ultimately got cut out of the video it was for. But it's fine. Even if I'm not using it for its intended purpose, it works well enough as a prop look-alike. Or I guess you could say it can be used in two ways. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I'm talking some real work together, die together stuff. That sort of thing. Oh, oh, okay, there's a landmine to our left. We gotta wait for it to turn and make a sprint for it. All right, Surya, I'm gonna tell you when it's facing as far away from you as it can go, okay? Yep. All right, Surya, okay. go now. Oh, why did we go this way? Why did why did you go this way? I meant you go that way. I I thought you wanted me to go this way. No, I wanted you to go the other way. Yo, I um, left the radio next to oh! I'm alive, I'm alive. We good, we good, we good. Okay, go now. Oh shit. Oh fuck, fuck, fuck! <laughs> oh no, a mirror! A head crab got him. Dude, where'd the yeah, bug go? It tried to jump on me. We gotta make a run, we gotta make, make a run. Man. No, Ethan! No! And I love watching how this sort of social hierarchy forms out of this teamwork aspect, too. When you fight for your life to the bitter end in the facility, only to just cut to this guy. Sitting back, relaxed, you know, legs kicked up on the table, talking into the radio without a care in the world. Um, I'm gonna go back for Ethan's body. You come and get their, uh, Mira's body in the back here. How about... No. You see stuff like that, and you're just sitting there thinking... It really is a great feeling. And I think deep down, we all have the same deep, seething hatred for that guy. Whoever they end up being each round. And of course, where there are opportunities to work together, to make it out alive together, there are also opportunities to, uh, <laughs> remember, you don't have to outrun the Bracken, just the guy next to you. Hello, Matthew? Oh, that's not good. Oh, Matthew, you're dead both of Oh, I see a Bracken, back it up, back it up. Oh, it's running on us! Ethan! <laughs> oh no! All the way. There's a thumper. Yeah, we lost. Sorry, I will go left, go left. Oh, it's coming out, thumper. The thumper is coming out. <laughs> oh! 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 <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> now, the point at which you'll have gained this mild competence will be around the time you start visiting the paid moons, which is a great system for taking you back down a peg. Not just because they're generally much harder, but also because they give you a gentle shove in the direction of making some very bad decisions. See, whenever I'd go to route to a new moon, I'd see all these crazy weather effects like eclipsed, stormy, flooded, whatever, and think, why the hell would anyone choose to land there? Right up until we decided to drop 550 bucks to unlock Rend, and we're like, hey, we only got 
three days access to this moon, okay? I don't care what kind of inclement weather they got going on. I could walk out the door of the ship and see the god hand stretching into the sky. I'm still heading for that facility. That sort of thinking is a mistake. If you don't hear anything for more than 30 seconds... There's something outside! There's something right outside the ship! You guys can sneak past it. Bug left. Mirror? Hey, Mirror? Oh. Sure, he's dead. Oh, he heard you. Oh, screw me! No! Is he eating him? He just ate him. Okay. We can, uh, get the bodies. Can we? We have did to work just together. He did, he did. One of us has to distract No, I mean, him. they're gone. They're in his stomach, bro. There's nothing left. Oh. Okay, well, we gotta make that money back, don't we? <laughs> don't we, boy? <laughs> oh, there's a second one. <laughs> no, let's get out of here. <laughs> Of course, we came back the next day with the weather back to normal, but that didn't go much better for us. Oh, eat them, we're fucked. Oh, soda, yeah. Oh, Marshall, <laughs> brothers. Another oh, attack! Someone's dead. in general is really good at screwing you over, even outside of the paid moons, with Stormy being my personal favorite, as in the one I hate the most. <laughs> Come on, man. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! When you didn't come back in, I knew exactly what happened! Foggy is particularly bad, especially when you're new to the game and don't know the maps very well. Especially, especially if you're me, and didn't know that the scan, when used outside, would show you the locations of the ship and the facility entrances within a certain distance. This is foggy as fuck. Yo, Ethan, I'm lost. Ethan, I'm lost. Whatever, I'm just running. Let's see where I go. Uh, Amir, wait, wait, wait. Amir, where are you? Amir? Dude, Foggy is so bad. Hello, guys. Hi, Amir. Dude, what the fuck's going on? Amir? Oh, it's over. Oh, God. Amir? Amir! I he probably fell off a cliff or something. Hey, you know, Rico, you want something that's gonna immediately jinx me? What? Not once have I died to a monster yet. Oh, man. Well, technically I've died to bees, but other than that, I've died to falling off a cliff. I've died to, like, drowning in quicksand. I've died to being left behind. Never- but- but never once to a monster, you know? Yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you heard what we were talking about, right? Yep. Oh, you can't fall in the water. Yep, there he is. No. <laughs> no. Additionally, these types of games have always gone hand in hand with modding, and Lethal Company is no exception. From quality of life stuff to texture upgrades, new enemies, and so on. Hey, hey check out my, my hip, bro. I'm staying strapped for this one, alright? Oh, shit! <laughs> Personally, I didn't go too crazy with it, but I did play with a bunch of people using the More Company mod, and. That was pretty fun. He definitely toned down the horror aspect of things, but in return, the comedy was cranked up to the max. 
or well, I say that, but seeing how your numbers advantage can just melt away is honestly terrifying in a whole new way. The dog, the dog, the dog. Oh, oh that's not my last. It is not Spot. Yeah, there were three dogs that jumped us as we came outside. I mean, yeah, we can just get their bodies. Um. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Fuck you, man. Bro, there's a dog. <laughs> you got it. Oh, what the? Quick, <laughs> shut up. Oh my. Oh, we're fucked, right? Nah, nah, we're good. We're good. We'll just wait for everyone to come back. Oh. He's <laughs> opening and closing the door. <laughs> cases our collective deaths were somewhat self-inflicted. Oh god. Oh yo, who you Oh holy fuck! Oh he's going after Wait what? Yeah. Oh, oh, god. God. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Holy shit! Are they dead? Uh yeah Buddha's definitely not alive. <laughs> Where's the boombox? Where's the boombox? I'm pretty sure Buddha had it when he died. Oh. We have to go back. We have to go back for the boombox. We have to go back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone going together. They can't. They can't kill us all, right? Yeah, but then. Oh, oh my God! Go go go. Go, 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 Yo, close the door, close the door. Come here, come here, come here, come on, come on. I'm about to die, I'm about to die, I'm about to die. Come on! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Where's the move on? Come here, move yeah. on! Get out of there! Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! Wait, should we go get their bodies? Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, Yo, there's no way we all died. We all died for the boombox. Boombox died. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm sorry, I made it out of the thing. Yo, loot bug just took a stop sign. I don't think we stand for this. Oh, wait. Fuck it up, 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 fuck it up. Yo, you're losing! Hit it! Nice. Spider's coming, spider's coming, take it out. 
We just got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone died here. And as something of a closing note, when it comes to this kind of stuff, it really is the little things that make the game. That's where the soul comes from. Stuff like boombox music traveling through the radio. Red dot. I'm shutting the radio. Or how when you first visit a mansion map, you get one of like the only music cues in the entire game. Awesome. Really oh, this is so cool. I have a feeling like the, the fucking Jack in the Box spawns here. Sure. Yeah. Or how you can buy completely cosmetic items to decorate your ship. Jesus. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? We got... uh, Why do we have a whole lot of stable, bro? Ready for dinner, bro? Or how you can get absolutely... What's the word for this? Ah, right. Zooted. You can get absolutely zooted using the TZP inhalant. Why? I don't know. Could have just been a shot that gives you a stamina boost or something. But no, you have to get absolutely cooked in order to use it. To the point that I've only ever used it to hotbox the ship because of how utterly debilitated you have to get for it to actually have any real effect. And to be honest, I don't actually mind. It's really nice to be able to just, you know, chill and vibe with the boys in the ship when things aren't going too crazy, you know? Alright, hey, Minso. so get ahead of this. I'll try that. Stop yeah. hugging the vape, bro! Holy shit! <laughs> Is that a blinker? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Yo, let me try that. Let me oh, try. oh shit, what the fuck? <laughs> what the oh, fuck? Yeah. Oh ahead. yeah, baby. Wait, <laughs> it's done. You fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> My screen is fucked. Oh. 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 He can't fuck, bro. All he got for is hogging, man. Oh my god. <laughs> yo, yo, Rika, switch, switch <laughs> stations, dog. Switch stations. You know the one I need right now. <laughs> Air horn. <laughs> Where's Rika? Yo, we actually have the most annoying ever item. Yo, did you get the ladder? Ethan, look what I got for you, Ethan. Ethan, look what I got for you. Guys, where's the ladder? Where's the ladder? No. Ethan, no! What the But yeah, that's the end of the structured part of the video. The rest of this is just funny clips. Or funny clips. I, I like them. Stuff like this. <laughs> I heard water, who died? Was he supposed to fall? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's it from me. I'll see you in the next one. Okay, I'll get can I give him this um this engine? Yeah, give him give him the engine, sure. Just drop it near him, that's it. I dropped it! Is he killing us? <laughs> Bro, I gave him the engine! Oh, I found That's a mirror. so funny that you just Where is come across my body as you're running body's away. right there. <laughs> Bro, I, did death. I see Fuck. it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it, was, it was right as oh. you were running. Because I died the exact same way as you. Oh, God. And they will, too. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they going back here? Hey, it's horrible for you. No! This perfect loop. What? This is comical. Why you off, man? <laughs> I didn't do shit. You're literally Looney Tunes loop. You're not happy. <laughs> like they're running in circles. I don't know. Oh, I'm going? dead. Get I'm dying. Get out. Oh god, please. Oh, god. <laughs> I can't see. I'll die with you. I'll die with you. No. Kill me, bud. No.
No, you can't just give up. You can't just give up. Hey guys. Mm -hmm. See, you know, see, see how we have these like things on the side of our head? Mm -hmm. Yeah, apparently that's where the scanner comes from. Mm -hmm. And I'm reading right here. Radiation continually emitted from these devices has been shown to increase risks of cancers and other forms of illness. Fuck. Yeah, I'm gonna die to a thumper, bro, whatever. There's a red dot in there, red dot in there. I, I, I don't know what it's doing, it's like, oh my God. sort of following you guys, I, I can't tell. It's on someone, it's on someone, there's a red dot on someone, he's getting, he's getting squished right now. Can we jump out of here? Ethan, I don't even get out of here like this. Uh, yeah. Oh no. Ethan, no, don't yeah. Man. Uh, no, Ethan's currently stuck in a hole. I'm gonna leave a walkie with you. I'll I'm gonna go. No! No! <laughs> oh no. So, um, me and Ethan are now stuck in the hole. Hey guys. He's dead. Oh, oh, hi man, we're stuck, bro. <laughs> don't worry, let me bring you a friend. I do. Here, doggy doggy. No, no, Here, doggy doggy. Here, doggy doggy. Oh, he's so close. Oh, 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 oh dude. Oh, oh, come on in, buddy. <laughs> oh, dude, no. <laughs> oh, dude. Hey, get over here, motherfucker. <laughs> hey, Mary. Yo. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, am I out? No. Bro, no, no, no. <laughs> How did you die? <laughs> I, I made it out and I jumped like a soaring eagle straight into the dog's mouth. Oh, guys, so, there's two beehives. Should we get them both? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get both. Let's go get both. And okay, no, 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 no. The, fur, the, fur, the further one, we need to bait because you need to last them. So I'll bait the bees and you grab the nest. Okay, okay, I'll grab it. And then, yo, who's that? Is that Ethan? Okay, Ethan, when you see me get here, then pick it up and we'll both get in. Okay. I'm there? Hello? Oh no. <laughs> Alive? <laughs> oh, come on. Right here, get out, get out, get out. Oh. Hours, 440. <laughs> Minsu? Oh, no. No. <laughs> oh, no. Look at me. Shit. Look at me. My eyes. Though. Look at me. Wait, my can eyes. I get an invite again? Dude, you know they say. Oh, 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 they say shit. if you stare at someone's Wait, eyes for 30 again? seconds, you fall in love. I mean, can you even stare? I feel like mine are moving around. Huh? Can you even see through those things, man? Goddamn. It's like 50% <laughs> opaque. They're they're a bit thick. Yeah. <laughs> Go, go, get the fuck out of here. There's a giant, there's a dog, and there's a fucking whatever, whatever that was. That thing was ugly as fuck. <laughs> that thing was like, um, you know that, the, a kiwi. You ever see that video of like a kiwi that jumps off a cliff to pretend it can fly for its like last moments of life? No. That, that, that made me cry when I watched that like five years ago. Moshi mosh! Oh, hey man. Actually, no, I didn't watch it. I watched Markiplier react to it and it made me cry <laughs> when I watched that video. Don't, don't pull that, Harry.
Okay. We will lose power to the facility. What? So what's radiation? What does that do? Yeah, I don't know, but we're in hazmat suits, so you know, should be fine, right? Well, yeah, but we can also drown despite very clearly having oxygen oh. tanks on our backs. Oh, we have oxygen tanks, but like we can sort it around. Yeah, in like 15 seconds. Bro, I can hold my breath for longer than you it takes for you to drown. <laughs> what like, who let noise? who let this happen? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you, you called him. This thing's brother. open. That thing calls it. <laughs> 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 Are you joking me? <laughs> no, we gotta. No, it's fine. It's fine. We gotta sell that. We have to sell it! Go! No, we don't! Like, no, this is steering wheel go. and shit! Go! Go! It's not enough! Yo, shut up, man! I know you guys have the steering wheel and the fucking- It doesn't matter! The steering wheel's like 30 and the scrap metal 16! It, like, if we don't have enough, we don't sell that shit. No, no! <laughs> One last dance! <laughs> 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 Where's Ethan, bro? Is he exploring again? I don't know. He's dead, bro. Yeah, we don't have enough, guys. Ethan has Matt the other shit, I think. Company. Ethan, it's okay. He sold it already. <laughs> he was making sure Rico doesn't think we have enough. Oh. I know you guys had enough! What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's Hello? going on, bro? Can you hear me? Yeah? I don't know, dude. I just start the fucking shit, dude. WASD! Oh, he's dead. The oh, fuck? Can't you, like, literally lean forward? And go prone? Do you think I can make it to the top of this building? <laughs> try it, try it. Guys, join the stream. Go join the stream. Come here. Hello? Oh, cool. I have a walk. <laughs> oh, holy, holy shit. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. That's the best ladder placement I've ever seen. What the fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> We're lying, brother. Yo, you guys stop saying He died, didn't he? He died. He oh, fell. Oh, that's so good. Oh! <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm gonna start heading back. Alright. Huh? Oh, he's dead, isn't he? So we gotta get out of here. We're about to grab the apparatus. Where? How, how do we get there? I don't know. You have to find an exit. All right. Yeah. Good luck, man. Good luck, man. <laughs> You're gonna pop up. <laughs> hey, Mir. Look at this. Yo. These are kind of like balls, or also perhaps boobs. Um, I'll, I go more with the boobs, I think. They could also be the O's in Google, or Poodle. Wait, can I do this? Hold on. Okay, now it's definitely more <laughs> balls. Definitely my balls. Nice. Wait, check this out. <laughs> That's exactly what mine is shaped like too, funnily enough. No, 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 mine is more- <laughs> Other way? Yeah. It's very front heavy. <laughs> that thing is not functional, bro. That's some shitty engineering right there. Oh god, no. Oh, my bad. My bad, sorry. What? Oh, <laughs> Ethan, he started the ship while the dog's in there. <laughs> oh, we lost everything. <laughs> Oscar dies here, not that guy. Bro, look, he's dead. He makes it, there's still a dog here. That's crazy. 
Capping up the ass, dog. <laughs> Alright, back, 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 back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. He's not even back it up, back it up. Oh, there goes 20%. That's fucked up, bro. Oh, inverse help for me. Are you sure? Send me in, boy. See you later, brother. I'll bring back riches. Over. Smells here. <laughs> what is that? How what is that? is that? That was Rico clearing his throat or something. No, 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 no. That was not Rico clearing his throat. Why do you lie? Get high. Get high. Let me get high. Let me get high. Hey, 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 hey. He's still going. <laughs> He's still going. He that shit. <laughs> Music to my ears. <laughs> Lock picker. I hardly I'm know being... her. That's funny. 